Welcome, this is Friendly Cat, a Hoi 4 Achievement playthrough guide. All four Switzerland achievements in one run. Let's get started. Well, this is a relatively uh, straightforward and not particularly challenging run if you think of it in its two phases. Phase one is all the way up to forming the Alpine Protectorate, and then phase two is the war with Germany. So for phase one, we will take the middle of those three options, which will start that balance of power daily tick to the left. We will not take the reduced democracy support. And after that, we're just going to replace the first uh, advisor with the red advisor, or the communist advisor that gives us political power. That communist advisor will start ticking away at the democracy support. We're also going to oust another advisor as soon as we hit 200 political power and then replace that with out of fur so that we start ticking away toward non-aligned political support. That concept, once you grasp it of ousting one and one a second advisor right away, makes the rest of the political party very smooth because both the red and the white advisors are ticking away at both democracy and fascism and you've solved that part of the minigame. The other part of the minigame is managing your balance of power, so just proceed down the left path, monitor balance of power, use your balance of power decisions, monitor your daily tick, do your calculations, and then in this run we chose to go down to get Pro Helvetia and then the military army advisor that gives us the army experience. In your run you can take the St. Bernard for the field hospital, you can probably skip one or two of these if you don't like Pro Helvetia. I liked it for the political power. And you can see we're timing those balance of power decisions to tick off so that we can burst across um, once we've picked up that army advisor for the military XP. We are bursting down the far part of the trail. When I mean bursting, I mean we're burning political power to take balance of power decisions to make it all the way to the end. We're also going to be uh, building up troops so that we can both influence Austria, France, and Italy to give us their territory. All three are influenced by the size of our army. They're also influenced by our opinion. Austria is greatly influenced by the size of our army, so we will not spend political power to influence their opinion of us, but we will be spending political power to influence both France and Italy's opinion of us. There is uh, a possibility that Austria or France or Italy could refuse your request for them to just turn over their territory to you. I know it sounds unreasonable that they wouldn't want to just turn your cores over to you, but uh, it, there is that chance. In this run, um, that did not happen as you can see. We have turned over Austria and now we're on our way to inflating our division count by, turning, by creating one infantry battalion divisions, show of force divisions, and creating them. Here our goal is to create 500. We're going to go after France first, and that's what we're proceeding through right now, very carefully um, die, recruiting those divisions as soon as we have them available, and our production is completely infantry. The whole part of the run so far, nothing but infantry. No artillery, no support, no tanks, no planes, just infantry, so that we have the enough infantry equipment to have the maximum show of force for both Austria, France, and Italy. And here we go, there goes France, now we're on our way to Italy. And with once Italy is complete, the most challenging part of the minigame is over, and we can start to prepare for our war with Germany. And we're just a little bit away from Italy, um, turning over their course to us, so gracious of them. And I can't help but feel that they're going to regret that decision later. Because for these four achievements, we need to declare war in Germany and win, we need to win a defensive war with Germany, and we need to expand and we need to, uh, in a peace deal, take states, I think it's in a peace deal, take states that are not connected to each other. So we plan to declare war in Germany and Italy will uh, inevitably join, not, in, not inevitably join that war, but in our case they will join that war and we'll be using those cores against them. Oh, and there goes Italy. We're going to fast forward to now the beginning of the war with Germany. Enjoy that sweet, large Switzerland. Because we're going to need all those military factories to take care of Germany. In my run, I prefer 18 with motorized and infantry, both 6-2, so 6-2 infantry, 6 uh, infantry, 2 artillery, or 6 motorized, 2 
motorized artillery. That's because I intend to join the Allies, and they're going to give me some cover. But I'd like to have a little more focus um, to push in certain areas. Normally I would generally in for a 20, 27 width with more 12 width uh, defenders, but in this case it's primarily 18 width. We do have some 20 width infantry, that is basically it's an 18 width 6-2 with a medium tank on the front. I also have on the border with Italy 12 width garrison, so that's 6 battalion infantry and then engineer and support artillery. I was a little slow taking care of Germany, so Italy joined at the beginning of 1940, and you can imagine how well that went for them. While I have a lot of fun with this achievement in this country, I hope you have a lot of fun with it too. It is a lot of micro, it is a lot of push, but it's uh, really not too bad. You can take care of Germany, you can take care of Italy, you've got the allies on your side. During the peace deal, be conscious, uh, make sure that if you're going for the cheese achievement that you're taking cantons or taking states excuse me separate from each other and go overboard if you can because you don't know how the pizza deal is going to end and what states the AI or the computer will give you even if you don't intend to take them so in this case I was actually all right with Italy joining the war because that just gave me more opportunities to take states that are separate from one another if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If you have any ideas or suggestions on other achievements you'd like to see, please leave them down below. I'll also leave a link to my guide to all BBA achievements. Until next time, thanks for watching.